I like to have things handy when I need them. And for years, I've kept a few things on top of my table saw fence because it's such a handy place to store things. Maybe you don't have a wide fence like mine, but if you do, I bet there's at least a measuring tape on there, probably a bunch of stuff. And if you've been storing things there for long, you've probably knocked something off. Fortunately, that's never happened to me while I was making a cut, but what if it did? I have a friend who knocked something off his fence and into the blade ones. You can imagine what a safety hazard that would be. So one morning, I grabbed one of the guys who works behind the scenes here at the Stumping Ups Woodworking Journal shops, and I told him to make me a caddy that attaches to the back side of the fence. I wanted it to hold a couple of push blocks, a measuring tape, and the two digital tools I use the most, my angle cube and my caliper. You've been watching him build it as we chatted just now. It attaches securely to the top of the fence without any fasteners by means of a friction fit. It's lightweight with quarter inch plywood that's made sturdy by the three quarter inch bottom and shallow rabbits and dados at the joints. It slides with the fence on the top of the saw and it's easy to take off when I need to. Best of all, it keeps my essential gear organized and away from danger. Here are the basic measurements if you wanna pause the video and have a look but you should really just build yours to fit the gear you use most and the fence you own. I hope this helps keep you safe and organized too. See you next time. Digital tools make woodworking easier and more precise, and they aren't as expensive as they used to be, at least not at the Craftsman Gallery. They have a full range of eye-gauging digital tools for every type of woodworking task, and by supporting them, you're also supporting us. So please use the link below this video to check them out today. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.